Hey guys, and how do we play Pokemon Omega Ruby version? So first, the off-camera training stuff. Silcoon tethers itself to a tree branch using Silk to keep from falling. There, this Pokemon hangs quietly while it awaits evolution. It peers out of a Silk cocoon through a small hole. So its eyes must be like really friggin' wide set if it's a small hole, two small holes like on the opposite side of that big ol' head there. That's the first time I've actually used that little like magnifying glass thing, it actually worked. Hey, yeah, Taylor, you can see everything about it, the first move, the ability, okay, not everything, but that's really cool. Caskin makes its protective cocoon by wrapping its body entirely with fine silk from its mouth. Once the silk goes around its body, it hardens. This Pokemon prepares for its evolution inside the cocoon. However that works. Slackoff lolls around for over 20 hours every day. Because it moves so little, it does not need much food. This Pokemon's sole daily meal consists of just three leaves. Wow, that's not a lot, is it? Oh sweet, Taylor gets to learn Wing Attack! Yay, Peck! Okay, um... Mm, I'm gonna go with Growl, probably. What does Focus Energy do again? Is that for criticals? Usually takes a deep breath and focuses so that critical hits land more easily. Right, yeah, I'll get rid of Growl then. Because I don't use that move too often. Unless I plan on, like, sacrifice, you know, sacrificing, you know, the Pokemon. Um, and spam it with, like, Sand Attack, Growl, Leer, that sort of thing. But doesn't happen too often. Ooh, first move, Sky Attack. Level 15! Wow, yeah, some of these Pokemon in the wild, like, using that Definer thing, they can be impressive. Okay, I caught that, Talo, and I'm not going to use it, but because I appreciated a reference that was made, I will go ahead and give it a quick nickname. Shroomish live in damp soil in the dark depths of forests. They are often found keeping still under fallen leaves. This Pokemon feeds on compost that is made up of fallen, rotted leaves. Ew! I guess it is a fungus, so that makes sense. Welcome back! Now we are ready to take on this gym, or at least give it a shot. I do have another member of our team, so everyone say welcome to Little Sap. He's gonna be the best boxer one day. Anyway, I wanna clarify, um, someone did bring up a good point. They're like, if you want, like, more diversity on your team, you should have, you know, Shiftry instead of a Breloom, because I like Breloom. I don't really like Shiftry all that much, but And I saw their point for a little bit, because, you know, fighting type, you know, Blaziken's gonna be fighting type, but then I also plan on having Fang go all the way to a Mighty Ana, like, keeping Fang on my team, and that would provide the Dark type. So it wouldn't provide more diversity having a Shiftry over a Breloom, it would just provide diversity for Blaziken, you know what I mean? So, I like Little Sap, and I'm just gonna stick with it for now. Um, I'm not completely hooked on having it on my team forever, even though I, again, I like Breloom and I've never actually had one on my team before. Um, but for now, unless I find a suitable replacement that I want, I'm gonna keep it. So here we go. Okay, ha. Ah. Don't take us gym trainers lightly, I'll show you why we're better. Yeah, now I get to kick his butt, how dare he say that to me? I am a proud owner of four Pokemon. You were challenged by Youngster Josh. Geodude. Ha! We can totally take it on. Oh, also, Little Sap, if you didn't notice, was poisoned. The reason for that is because Little Sap's ability, I forget what it's called, but it actually heals when it's poisoned. So I figure that's like holding on to a healing item, and why would you want to get rid of that? So, yeah. I It's low on PP because of that, but I figured that that was worth it. You know, if it meant I was just going to heal every turn because poison heal. There we go. See, look! It was awesome! And now we'll use Tackle to finish off the Geodude because it's sturdy. Bloody sturdy. Anyway, uh, Little Sap, I believe, was like level 13. The rest of my Pokemon, if you didn't notice, you know, Fang, Peck, and Buck are level 15. And so, I'm pretty sure if Buck evol or levels up, he'll evolve into a Combuskin. Oh, level 12. Level 13, I was like two levels off. My bad, whatever. Learn Mega Drain already? I didn't know that. Okay, well, let's compare Absorb and Mega Drain. I'm pretty sure Mega Drain wins. It's just a matter of PP. So let's see. Um, 20 and 100. Use this HP is restored by half the damage taken. I think it's the same half. Half the damage taken, but 40, 100. Oh, I was thinking, maybe I was thinking of Giga Drain. Okay, so it's twice as powerful with less PP. Like a fair bit. Uh, but. Given that it is twice as powerful, I feel I feel that I should. So I'm going to. All right, ta-da! Little Sap forgot how to use Absorb, and a Little Sap learned Mega Drain. Good job, buddy. No one involved yet. Okay. Leveled up yet? I'm sorry, I keep saying that. Ah, stupid headphones. All right, bring it on, Geo, dude. Hopefully, you don't also have sturdy. Forgot what it was called for a second. 
No, you do not! Haha! <laughs> okay, good. I feel like this was a good choice for now. Nope, still no one. Okay. You were too good for me. Dang straight I was. Now hand over your money. Such a fun thing in the Pokemon world. Uh, I was gonna see if there's anyone to fight down there, but that works. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. I only just realized. Rock type. Roxanne. Ha! <laughs> Clever. Okay, youngster Tommy sent out to Geodude. He only has one, so it's probably gonna be about level 11, 12. Let's see. It was just a guess, I don't know. 10! Oh, close enough. I'll take it. So this is, I'm pretty sure that this will wipe it out, unless again it has 30, which it did. Oh well. Defense curl. Oh, haha, -ha, I'll just use tackle and kill you anyway. Ah, good times, good times. Goodbye, Geodude. All right, little Sap, you are owning this gym. Good job, bud. Yeah. Bug to level 16, so now we get to see if it is indeed level 16 where he evolves and not level 18 or something like that. Wow, you've got some potential. Well, thanks, young child. <gasps> what? Buck is evolving! Oh, someone also told me that if you keep Torchic as a Torchic to like level 54 or whatever, it can learn Flamethrower in no other way, but I just think that that's not worth it because, you know, when you're the higher up evolutions, you gain more like stats more quickly, so. I value that more. Congratulations, your buck evolved into Combuskin. Oh good! Combuskin is still not my favorite in terms of aesthetics, but that's okay. Buck wants to learn the move Double Kick. However, Buck already knows four moves. Blah, blah, blah. Should a move be deleted and replaced with Double Kick? Forget. Let's see, Scratch, Peck, Ember, Sand Attack. I guess then that I'll replace Scratch because... I feel like I want both of those other things. Really quick, 4100, 3500. And he's not a flying type, and he never will be. So there's no stab bonus. But Peck right now would be good against grass types. But so is Ember. And Scratch. Get lit. Dit. Yeah. Eh. Let's see him. Sure. Why not? That way, Buck will never use Peck, because Peck uses Peck, because Peck is Peck, so no confusion there. Buck learned Double Kick. Good for you. The next move I'm probably going to get rid of with Buck, then, is Scratch, because, you know, why not? Alright, okay, no one's here, so just... Am I supposed to look at things? A stone is displayed with the ins description, a Kalos Stone. The stone was apparently excavated from a location known as Glittering Cave. Kalos is Gen 6, right? I want to say yes. Sounds French to me. Okay, cool. Is this like second to last person? I mean, aside from Roxanne. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. Okay, so I assume, yeah, Roxanne is number one trainer at the school. You were challenged by school kid Georgia. All right, another Geodude. Okay, I understand that you're rock type, but given that we're in generation three right now, you could have some amount of diversity. Especially considering Geodude isn't even gen three, so whatever. What matters? So we're going to kill it, and really quickly, and then level up straight away. Maybe, you know, Peck or Fang will as well. It'll be good. Also, if you want to hear me swear, this might be the time, because I might mix up Fang, Peck, Buck, and all that stuff. <laughs> you know how words get. Anyway. Taylor grew to level 16. I always read it straight off. It's Peck. I, his name is Peck. I just need to find a name changer. Or Raider. How disappointing. I fell to number three. I'm number two! Yes! Okay, now I need to kill- beat! Sorry, not kill. Wouldn't kill Roxanne. Okay. Well, what is that? That's not a real Pokémon, as far as I know. Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokémon would be able to get this far. Oh, she has red eyes, that's intimidating. Cool. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokémon? If you, if you meet me in real life and we have a real life Pokemon battle, once we have real life Pokemon, of course, I'm totally gonna do that. You were challenged by Leader Roxanne. Oh, that's cool, you have like the gym badge floating, except it's all like... Cyber? We could say that. Okay, another Geodude. What a surprise. Probably a sturdy at least, and it's level 12. I'll give it that. Did I overtrain? Just a little bit, but I'll say it took forever for some reason to find a Shroomish. 
Um, and since I had experience share on, everyone was growing constantly, you know? Because that's what experience share does in this game. And, like, a couple past games or whatever. Um, I'll just use Tackle. I could, no, like, a Mega... Giga Drain, there we go. No, it was Mega Drain, sorry. Mega Drain wouldn't really have done anything except for now that she used Potion. Um, considering it had one health. But hey, Poison Heal, it worked anyway. I'm almost full now. And with this Mega Drain, Geodude should be knocked out and I should be moved right up to full health. Good. Haha. -ha. This Geodude's a little loser face. That one, not yours. Your Geodude is awesome. Unless you don't have one. Maybe you have a potential one in the wild. It's like your soul Geodude. Nose pass. Finally something different. No. Keep battling with little Sap. All right, little Sap, you got this. Use Mega Drain. Oh, once it's your turn. Oh, that was a critical hit. Awesome. I love when critical hits like do nothing to me. And poison heal. Uh, again, if it, I wish that there were a way I could restore little Saps like PP without having to heal it, because that's the issue. You know, having being poisoned is great because then I get healed every turn. But you know, if I can't attack, that wouldn't really do much, and it's not worth struggling to keep being poisoned. So, yeah. I also like Leech Seed. Maybe it's not the most worthwhile in this battle, considering it won't take that long. But when you're against like a strong opponent and you just have to wear them out, like over or outlast them, <sighs> Leech Seed is nice. Or, if you're planning on having to sacrifice your Pokemon, send it out, leech seed the enemy, you know, and, um, assuming it's a higher level enemy, you're gonna really benefit the rest of your team. Cool. And I am now fully healed again. And Nosepass is dead. Good job, Nosepass. You served me well. For I am now level 14. Little sap, that is. Good. Those stats... In case you're curious. And no one else. Well, good, we beat the first gym leader. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Riz received 1,600 and a poke. Poke dollars? I don't know. For winning. Good job, me and my team. We're awesome. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. It's not like that's the first time you've lost, Roxanne. Right? It can't be. It even has a little- it shows you the little pin on the back of it. I don't remember that with other badges in, like, previous generations. It's funny to me. Riz received the Stone Badge from Roxanne. The Stone Badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move Cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please take this with you, too. Riz obtained TM39 Rock Tomb, which none of mine can use right now, I'm pretty sure. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it, it makes it so they can't switch out? Oh no, it also lowers the target's speed. If you use the TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokémon. You can use the TM as many times as you want, so please try it out. That used to not be the case, remember that guys? You hardcore Pokémon fans, you? Good times there. Alright, well, now we need to find the move Cut, like the HM for it. But he said, the one dude at the beginning said, talk to him after we won. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. Very promising. Oh, thanks, dude. Thought you were gonna give me something. But I guess words of encouragement, they're pretty nice. Oh, you're not- All right, Out of the way, move it! I thought special person was gonna say something to me. Wait! Please! Don't take those parts! You gotta run faster than that, Devin. Come on, Devin. They're all Devin. Ah, oh, special looking person, what do you think of all this? Hey, that's Rustboro's gym badge! Out of all the Pokemon gym badges, Rustboro's is the coolest, I'd say. You're not special, or are you just like a cool trainer, ace trainer kind of thing? I don't know, whatever, bloody heck. Why is that X'd out? Oh, you there! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods! Oh, it is him! Okay. Help me! I was robbed by Team Magma! I have to get the Devon parts back! If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Okay, did they steal it from you, like, just while you're outside? Because you probably shouldn't be 
taken. Oh, there's also big eggs. That's good. Uh, probably shouldn't be taking important parts out of the office unless he like absolutely has to. Hey, there's an Encada on this row. That's cool. Hmm. Let's see. Actually, right now, ah, Edgy, oh, oh, okay, I'm fine. Right now, I think that I'll switch, um, Peck out for a little sap. Considering we're probably going to be going up against either Bug or Grass-type Pokemon, like with this dude. My Pokemon and I rule! Check us out! Okay, sure! We're going to fight this youngster. And I'll just see the first Pokemon, and then we'll, oh, Zigzagoon! Not a Bug or Grass. All right, we'll skip ahead. A sign! And a Pokemon somewhere. Where is it? We'll find it. We'll find it. Don't see me, trainer. It's a skitty. It's a little skitty kitty. Bloody. Screw you. Second chance. Second chance. Try moving more slowly. Doing it. We're doing it. Gonna catch a skitty kitty. Yay. We're gonna do it. Unless I accidentally kill it. We'll try not to do that. Okay, I figure this is my best bet. Also, look, he knows headbutt now. Anyway, Leech Seed, right, gradually takes down the health without too much risk of killing it. And then we're gonna Stun Spore it, right? Increases the chance of actually catching it. It'll be great. We're totally gonna catch a Skitty Kitty. Plan on using it on my team? No, even though I think Skitty and Delcatty are both cute. I like them as Pokemon. Um, I never thought that they were they were particularly strong, and not that I pick my Pokemon based upon like which is the strongest or whatever, but it does factor into it. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't even didn't even stun sport. You guys distracted me. Stop it. Yeah, I was like, unless this works, it didn't. Um, this will take a minute though to like get its health down enough. So we'll see ya. Okay, this is it. That's about it. I think if I don't catch it this time, I might have one more chance given its health. But, um, hopefully I'll catch it this time, because it's in the red, it's paralyzed, should all be good. Also, have you seen Skitty's tail whip yet? Because it's adorable. Adorable. Yeah. Anyway, good. Here's Skitty. Yay. Skitty has a habit of becoming fascinated by moving objects and chasing them around. This Pokemon is known to chase after its own tail and become dizzy. Oh, I know a cat like that. No. Okay, is this building a thing? Looks like it. Yeah. what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. Uh-oh, that's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Dude, you already said uproar. You can't say uproar twice. It sounds awkward. Tunnel is rest house. Oh, and he won't let me in? What a jerk, baby. Oh! What's that? There's a Pokemon somewhere. Give me a minute. It knows Night Slash! That's kinda cool! Encada lives underground for many years in complete darkness. This Pokemon absorbs nutrients from the roots of trees. It stays motionless as it waits for evolution. Cool. I have to say, um, what was it? Shedinja? Really cool Pokemon. Really interesting concept, actually. Just the fact that it has, like, one health with that Wonder Guard ability, I think it was. It's cool. Anyway. Gonna head inside and who are you? Hello? Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pika and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug. I thought I recognized him. And then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. <laughs> Where are you, Pico? Ah, uh, it's okay, sir. I'll rescue your little wingle for you. After I get this delicious looking Pokeball. Yum yum. X special attack? No! I never use like the X items. Not, never really. Neither, um, not the zinc ones either, that kind of stuff. Something fishy about the spot, maybe with the right Pokemon move. Is it Rock Climb? Because I have a Zigzagoon that knows Rock Climb. I caught it. It was one of those, like, shaky in the grass ones you had to sneak up on. I thought it was special, so I got it. Anyway, I might have to go look into that afterward. First, I need to click on every bloody rock just in case there's something special. Pokeball! Yay, good, because I was only I only had five left and two premier balls, but I didn't really want to count those. Um, don't have that move. Okay. Alright, who is it this time? Is it a Zubat? No, it's a Wismer! Hey yo, wait yo, Wismer. How are you doing today? I think they're cute. I don't really like Wismer's evolution, but Wismer itself I think is kinda cute. Anyway, I will try to capture it. Let's see if Quick Attack shouldn't kill it. No, good. 
So with that, we'll just really quickly bag Pokeball. Good. Fingers crossed, guys. We got this. Huh? Ah. Uh, dang it. Guys, did you cross your fingers? I feel like you didn't now. Okay. I'm serious this time. I'm crossing my fingers. You could do you could do your part. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Now's the time. Yeah, I was. Thank you guys for cooperating. Unless you didn't. Shame on you. Gotcha, Wismer was got. Good job, Peck. You did great. Okay. I wish it would show load this whole bit a little bit faster. Because it's kind of just like, yeah, I got a Wismer. Let me read it. Okay, normally, Wismer's voice is very quiet. It is barely audible even if one is paying close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear-splitting volume. How odd. Silly little bunny. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's a bunny-type Pokemon, right? That explains the ears. Oh! Hello! What? Are you coming? Come and get some, then! Hey, Pico. Come here, bud. Aw, oh, Pico, Pico. What is this? You identif- Wow, you identified- I didn't know you'd do that. Okay. Alright, sure. Gah! Kill all at all! What does that mean? This sausage Pokemon turned out to be worthless! And to think I made a getaway! Into this tunnel to nowhere! And you, now you're here to battle me. Really? Yep, it's us! It's a me, not the Mario. Alright, you are challenged by Team Magma Grunt. And his Poochiana. What levels of Poochiana? 12 at least? Come on. Okay, good! 13! Very good! Alright, wing attack! Maybe it won't kill it in one hit. Yeah, it didn't. Good. Okay. I'm still not gonna take any damage, though, considering... Well, maybe if Quick Attack doesn't. Not that I'm trying to take damage here. Just, you know, how it is. We did it! <laughs> Good for us! And with that, Peck grew to level 18. With these stat improvements and these total stats. Cool. As far as I recall, Taylor only has one evolution into Swellow or whatever, right? Right? Yeah. Um, ugh. Ugh. Is this the end of my evil deeds? Blah, 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 blah. So, I don't think the tail is going to evolve for a little bit longer. Maybe up even until the 30s, but I don't know. Bird Pokemon, I assume, usually evolve earlier on, but given that they usually also have, like, two evolutions, to my knowledge, thinking of, like, Pidgey and stuff like that, not Fur or Firo or... You know what I mean, though. Spiro in that. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. These parts right here, in fact. Shh. You want to back that badly? Then take them! Sir, you didn't have to do that. You could still have gone back to your boss. You're very bad at being a bad guy. People. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. Apparently, I'm like Scottish or something. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, uh, so it's Riz, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, Riz. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't you hesitate to tell me. If I'm to be found, it will always be at my cottage near by the sea near Petalberg Woods. Come, Pico. High time we're underway to home. Pequee! Goodbye, guys. I love you. All right, so that was Mr. Briny and Pika. We did a good thing. This is all blocked off, right? So I think all we need to do now is deliver the Devon parts back to the Devon researcher named Devon, and then we'll be good. Oh, hey, this guy's here to greet us. Roar! That goofy goon hightailed it down to the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Oh, he's happy. Good. Get to work then, sir. And in meanwhile, I can go into the rest house. Yay, me. That rust of tunnel there. At first, we had a huge crew working on boring through the rock with the latest machinery. But we had to stop. Turns out we would have had a negative effect on a lot of Pokemon in the air. Would have had. So, we're left lazing around here doing nothing. Also, I do realize why the guy said uproar like twice, the one karate dude. Because Wismer, uproar, yeah. But usually when they're talking about a move, I thought they capitalized it. Anyway. 
To get to Verdanter without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford, sail onto Slateport, Slateport, and then travel through Mauville. Okay, cool. Or Moville. Mauville. I'll say Mauville. Anyway, um, there's a man who dug his way to Verdanter all by his lonesome. He was desperate to get through. He says that if you dig little by little without using machines, you won't disturb Pokemon and you'll avoid harming the natural environment. I assume that's the same dude that's in the tunnel right now, right? Anyway, I'm just checking up on this stuff to see if there's anything special. There's a set of Pokemon picture books. Nothing special there. That's not a thing. Not a thing. That's a ladder, but nothing. Okay. Still a matter then of going and finding that one researcher dude. And I still don't have cut. I'm coming, Skitty! I'm coming! Oh, Devin! I have your part! Devin! The least he could do is wait for- Okay, there he is, good. I guess he's by the corporation now. Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devin parts? You did! You got them back! Oh, you really are a great trainer! I know! As my thanks, I'll give you a single Great Ball. Where's obtained Great Ball? Yay! Oh, yes, young man, please come with me. I better get a better reward than that. That was stupid. <laughs> I could buy a great ball at the next town. For, you know, a decent amount of money right now, but still. Well, having one great ball is not going to do me a lot of good. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you wait here for just a moment? Oh, sure. I'll be right here. Wow, that was fast, sir. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please, come with me. Okay. Do I get a job? Oh, I thought I was supposed to be moving. Nope. Please, go ahead. Okay. Hey, boss man. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now how we have a quite a bit to thank you for. The words. So you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. Now I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me a Pokenav Plus for a moment. Really? Because I like never use that thing. Mr. Stone updated your Pokenav Plus to do something. You can now use the BuzzNav function of your Pokenav Plus. What is that? Is that like a phone? The function that I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called BuzzNav. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends, anytime and any place. Now let me get to the important issue of what it is I need you to do. That'd be, that'd be good to know. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Steven. You should find him in Duford. Riz obtained the letter! I got a letter for Steven in Duford! Okay. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briny, the old sailor who lives on that hut in Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him, and he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk with me again. Cool, I have unrestricted access to the top floor of this building. I could totally rob him at gunpoint, but I won't, because I'm a good ten-year-old boy. Actually, I don't know how old Brandon or whatever is supposed to be. Uh, and I have to run. Actually, let me talk to these guys just to make sure they don't give me an item. Okay, so this is where we bring fossils. Good to know. Everyone else here just seems in comments and they're like, I'm working on this, but nothing is working out. Hey, look, it's May again. Hey, May. Oh, hey, Riz. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on that front, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Well, that doesn't mean you caught a lot. That just means you might not have had enough Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. And I passed by Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. Hmm, I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage on Route 104 in case you already forgot what he told you upstairs. Riz, you just moved here, so there's no way you could know. But Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. Oh, thanks for letting me know. All this clever exposition. Uh, I guess I should go down to Mr. Briny, but I want to look around a little bit more. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you do, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, until the next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!